Hi, I'm Lari, head of support at Nosto. In this video tutorial, I'll go through steps how to get started with recommendations after you have finished technical implementation and when Nosto collects and analyzes data from your site. Without further ado, let's get started. Start by logging into your Nosto admin account at my.nosto.com. Just to make sure that you have finished all necessary steps, in case you see a template page such as here, it means that the technical implementation is not finished and Nosto is not yet analyzing any traffic. If you click the link provided, it will open up an implementation guide on our online support center and a guide how to enable the data exchange between Nosto and your site. Once implementation is ready and solid, the implementation template disappears and you'll see following onboarding menu in your admin. Clicking step 1 opens up your site in a preview mode, which is a unique tool that reveals Nosto recommendations as they would appear on your site if you would go live right now. We created the preview tool so that you and especially web designers could plan safely positioning and design of the recommendations before going live. You can also enable the preview mode in your browser by inserting parameter question mark Nosto preview equals true in the address field. In essence, the preview mode allows editing styles, titles and contextual settings on the fly in a live environment using live data. In case nothing appears on your site, this is most likely because you haven't added any recommendation placeholders on your site yet. In case Nosto placeholder images appear instead, don't worry, this is normal behavior as mockup products are displayed when Nosto doesn't have enough data to display a recommendation or when a recommendation type is not applicable on the selected page type. On the other hand, if you implement it using an extension or a plugin, recommendations might not be positioned properly and you need to move the placeholders around, which is done using your card solutions editor tools. Let's have a look next how to edit the recommendations. This also introduces you how to pinpoint and add a Nosto placeholder. Under step 2, you'll find recommendation settings menu, so let's click it. Recommendations are sorted in the menu based on the target page type, such as home, product or card page. Flipping the switch here either disables or enables an individual recommendation, but you will still be able to see all disabled recommendations while the Nosto preview mode is enabled. However, your customers won't see disabled recommendations when they browse on the site. Nosto mockup products are also always disabled from the public and only visible in the preview mode. In case you change the title or visibility settings, remember to save changes by clicking Save. In the column right, you'll see the recommendation type, unique recommendation ID and applied style template. Bear in mind that the recommendation IDs need to be unique as otherwise Nosto is unable to link the recommendation placeholder on your site through the equivalent settings in the Nosto admin. Clicking Edit opens up an advanced settings menu. For example, if you have an existing recommendation for bestsellers on a home page and you want to change the recommendation type or scoring modes to something different, you need to access the advanced edit menu. Since adding a new recommendation essentially covers the same steps than editing existing recommendation, but in more detail, let's proceed by clicking add a new recommendation. Start by giving a unique ID for the recommendation. A good policy, again just as a suggestion, is to refer to the page type instead of recommendation rule set as you might change the recommendation settings to something different later on. Next, insert visible title which is visible for the customers. The switch below enables or disables individual recommendation similarly to the previous menu. A new recommendation is by default disabled, so click Choose Recommendation Type button and in the menu choose Target Page. In this tutorial, I'll add a cross-selling recommendation for product pages recommending alternative products, so I start by choosing Product Page and Recommendation Type Cross and Upselling. Now, in the Relation Type drop-down menu, I can choose Scoring Settings, which I'll leave as is to the Viewed Together Smart. 
If I would leave the recommendation slot like here, it will pull out products across all categories, but since I want to be a bit more specific, I'll enable filter settings and set the recommendation to follow applied rule set strictly by leaving the with limited results to show only filtered. Next, we need to choose filter by category and leave it like here. Categories of the viewed products. Since almost all online stores have a hierarchical category structure, I'll also include subcategories of the viewed product. Please note that full recommendation settings manual is available online at support.nosto.com. After clicking save on the bottom of the page, everything is pretty much done and I have a ready recommendation for product pages set to display alternative products. After inserting the placeholder code available on the very bottom here to the side page template, recommendation is fully set up, so for me it will be time to preview my site again and make sure that the recommendation is positioned accordingly. While recommendation slots define the relation and context of the products and the code snippet the physical position of the recommendation on the target page, the web design and structure of recommendations is set in the other module here, recommendation templates. If you are not satisfied with the default designs, this chapter of the video introduces you how to work with the design templates. All new Nosto accounts feature a default setup of ready-to-use recommendation templates. You can either use or edit any of the templates or add and create a brand new one from the scratch. Under the recommendation template menu, you can preview or edit the default templates, which all feature easy to use editorial tools, helping you to kickstart Nosto on your site. Editorial tools allow simple design changes, such as changing the color scheme or visibility of a product detail, such as here. Advanced users with design resources available can create own templates from the scratch and make sure that recommendations are a seamless match to the target site's look and feel. Let's have a closer look how this is done by viewing example templates code in detail here under template HTML tab. The styling of a recommendation is standard CSS as seen here, but alternatively you can use and load CSS from your site itself. We suggest to keep the CSS on the site side in case the design is responsive as this simply makes managing the designs less laborious. In the example, the template features some CSS before the HTML segment. The recommendation's HTML structure needs to be set here on the Nosto admin as the template and content in it is injected to the site from Nosto. The key part visible here is just simple as standard HTML that defines how recommendation is structured and rendered in a web browser. To populate dynamic part, Nosto features Apache Velocity scripting language for template variables. Use the variables to return content stored by Nosto in your HTML markup. Full variable listing is always available under the template editor tools. Template preview tool on the bottom allows quick iterations when changes are made, but once the template is finished, we need to go back to the recommendation slot settings to attach a new template to a recommendation slot. So next, I'll navigate back to the recommendation that I just added. Here, under recommendation settings, we have a recommendation template drop-down menu. Simply choose the template that you would like to use with the selected recommendation and you're good to go. Finally, step 3, going live. Once recommendations have been positioned and designed and when you're happy with the full setup, simply click step 3, activate, which will publish the recommendations on your site. That's how to launch on-site recommendations with Nosto. For further advice and online manuals, please visit support.nosto.com.